Have you ever thought of making your daily notes more lively, where you can save your memories in the form of photos? If you had ever thought so or want to give more life to your daily notes, this video is for you. Hi everyone, I am Prakash Joshi. Welcome back to another awesome Obsidian tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can link Obsidian with Google Photos so that you can add your photos to your daily notes and that too without taking too much space in your world. So let us begin this video without any delay. But first, let me show you what you will be able to do if you do the exact thing that I tell you in this video. You can go to command palette and search for Google Photos and you can insert Google photo from here to your daily note and it will automatically be saved to your desired folder. It will also not take much space and you can also click here and it will take you back to the Google photos in your browser. So let's begin this video without delay and let me show you how you can integrate Google photos with Obsidian. So the first thing that you need to do is install the plugin called as Google photos. As always go to settings, come to plugins, search for Google and you will see here Google Photos. Click on install and enable this plugin. Go to option. Now we need to connect Google Photos with Obsidian with the help of this plugin and we will need to create an API key first. For that, go to your browser and search for Google API console over here and go to this first link, Google Cloud Console. You will have a window like this. Now click on create a new project. Go over this section. I have a few projects over here. Click on new project, just name it whatever you want. I'll write it Obsidian Photos, location, no organization, click on create. Now the project is being created over here. Once the project is created, go to this API and services over here. It will take you to the screen like this and click on enable APIs and services. Here you need to search for photos and you can see here photos library API. Now enable the photos library API. Just click on enable and the photos library API will be enabled. Here is a warning that says to use this API you may need credentials. Now we'll need to create credentials over here. Go to create credentials. Just name it whatever you want. I will let it be photos library. Click on user data over here. Click on next. Now you need to name it something. I'll just write obsidian. I'll just use the email over here. And I'll click on save and continue. You can skip this scopes because it is optional. Click on save and continue and here you will have a zero auth client id select the application type that is web application and i'll just write it obsidian over here as well and here over this section authorized redirect urls you'll have to add this url that i'll provide in the description of this video but you can also find this uh, in the github documentation of this plugin obsidian google photos docs and setup.md this is the redirect URL that we'll need to paste over this authorized redirect URLs and click on create. Once you have successfully created your credentials, you will see a client ID over here. Copy it to the clipboard and click on done. It will take you back to this screen again. I go to credentials over here. You will be able to see client ID over here, which you can copy. Now you can go to this edit icon and you will have client ID here and client secret over here. You need to copy these both. I'll copy this first and go to your Obsidian Vault, go to Google Photos plugin option and here you need to paste the client ID. Go back to your browser and use the client secret key, copy this, add it over here. That's all. You are almost towards the end of setting this plugin. Now you'll need to open Photos API Auth. Click on this. It will take you to your browser again. Sign up with the email from where you want to add Google Photos inside your world. It is showing me this error. I think I'll need to check back in the API section and do something over here. I'll go to this auth consent screen and I need to publish this application before I integrate it with Obsidian. So I'll click on publish, confirm. Now verification is not required. So I'll go back to Obsidian, open Photos auth, sign in with this email. This is a warning sign. The app is requesting access to sensitive info from your Google account. So instead of going back to safety, I uh, will need to create an advanced and go to this site. Now you'll need to allow the permission to view your photos library. And this will not modify anything in your library. It will just have read only access. So there's nothing to be afraid. 
So click on continue. If you don't see this pop-up inside your browser window, then you may need to enable the pop-up, which will be over here. And I already have the pop-up open. So I'll click on open and you can see here successfully connected. You can see here is the thumbnail setting where you can set the maximum size for your locally saved thumbnail image. I'll just use maximum size as 400 times 400. And here is the image file format, which you can modify as well. There is another option where you have the option to specify the location to save thumbnails. Save my thumbnails, thumbnails in a specific folder. I will create a new note where my daily notes are saved and I will write photos and I will specify the path of this folder photos. And here is the inserted markdown. I don't want to change that. And here is another option where you can default to limiting shown photos to dates. For example, if you have opened today's date, then it will only show up photos from your Google library that were captured today. And here is the option to determine the date from North title, North front matter or use today's date. You can use today's date or you can also use North title. I'll let it be North title and is the title format of the node that is same here. And here is another option where you can enable to show photos in range of days. I don't want to enable that. Now I can just go to command palette, control P, search for photos. You can insert album or you can insert single Google photo. If you insert album, it will show all of the albums that you have created in Google photos. If you insert Google photos, it will open up this window where it will show photos for today's date. Since I have not captured any photos today, it will not show anything. If I turn this option off, then it will show me all the photos in my Google photos library like this. So that's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps to keep my energy high for creating videos like this, which can help you in certain way. That's all. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope you have a great time. Bye bye.